Thank you for your interest in Carrot Top Industries. This video is about navigating through your My Account section on Carrot Top's website. Once you log into your Carrot Top account, the first page that pops up is the My Account section. You can either navigate through here or hover over your name, and all the My Account options will appear here as well. You can also enlarge this page by clicking Account Overview. You have access to a wide range of options on your My Account page. In the Overview tab, it'll show you your recent purchase history. You can edit your profile settings and default shipping address that you've entered while making your account. You can also edit or add your payment methods. Further in the Purchases tab, you can see your purchase history. You can see your complete purchase history at once or to narrow your search. You can apply filters, such as date interval starting in 2020 and onward. You can sort by date, number or amount as well. Further in the Purchases tab, you can see your returns that you may have both pending and completed. You can also reorder items here. Items that you have purchased frequently over time or recently purchased can be added to your cart simply from here. You can also find your quotes down here. Once you request a quote, a sales team member will review and add shipping before approving the quote for purchase. You can then open your quote by clicking on it and download it as a PDF if it is still an open quote. It will show a convert option where you can enter your billing info and purchase that item. So that's all under the Purchases tab. Our next tab is the Sales Tax Exemption tab. If you're a sales tax exempt organization, you can add a sales tax exemption certificate here. And if your certificate has expired, under the Manage Exemption tab, you can update your sales tax exemption certificate. We also have a whole separate video on tax exemption that you can find on our site as well. In the Wishlist tab, you can see your wish list items. These are items that you're not quite ready to get a quote on or not quite ready to place an order, but you want to start setting items aside for the future. When you are ready to buy those items, you can add them to your cart from here. You can also create different lists, such as for specific events or departments. Our next tab is Billing. Here you can see your account balance, your outstanding balance, credit limit, and further info. In the Invoices section, you can see your invoices both open and paid. So if you need to go back and find an older invoice, you can find that here. Next is the Transaction History section. Another place where you can find your transaction histories. These are going to be your payments. If you need to go back and get a copy of your credit card receipt, that's what this cash receipt is from previous purchases. Under Print Statement, you can always download and print the statement if needed. You can also get a statement for a certain date interval. Under the Stock Notifications tab, you can see all of the out-of-stock items that you have subscribed to. When these items come back in stock, you will get an email notification that it is now available so you can place your order while supplies last. And once you place your order and no longer need to be alerted when that item becomes available in the future, you can adjust or remove your subscriptions here. Next one is the Settings tab. Here you can update your profile information such as name, company name, and phone number. You can also decide which types of emails you want to be subscribed for. In the Address Book section, you can add different addresses and edit or remove the existing ones. Under Payment Methods, you can add your different payment methods, such as credit cards. In addition, you can update or reset your account's password from here. Our next tab is Cases. This is something that you would use if you needed to reach out to the customer support team for any particular reason or if you have a question. You can see any open cases you may have or any previous cases and you want to see where that stands. Or you can create a new case. For example, if you want to check on the availability date of an out-of-stock item, you can send the customer care team a message you will fill in the subject and add your question in the message box and press Submit. 
And if you want to send it for another email address other than the one that you logged in with, you have the option to do that as well. So this is all from the My Account section. If you have any other queries, feel free to reach out to our customer support team.